Asteroid QQ23, an asteroid tsunami warning. Scientists are warning the U.S. coast over an ocean impact because this thing, even if it hits the Earth, can wipe out an entire country from what they're saying. This is by Gerard Conga on Express UK and other sites, ET as well. This massive asteroid, larger than the Empire State Building, is set to cross the Earth's projected path during the next two weeks. The program charting the Earth and the orbit of this asteroid, named 2006 QQ23, which is massive and 400 feet taller than the Empire State Building, illustrates how close this planet and the asteroid come to a collision. The estimates right now indicate that this meteorite is 1,870 feet in diameter, which makes it 400 feet larger than the height of the Empire State Building. And uh, there's a video here embedded in this showing the orbit path of the Earth and the asteroid 2006 QQ23 and what they're expected to take. So you can see that they're running almost parallel to each other for two weeks. And there's a point where these two lines cross over, indicating that the asteroid has the potential to glide with the Earth. Right now, its current trajectory, asteroid expecting to cross over Earth's orbit lines after the planet has already passed it, meaning the asteroid, thank goodness, will not make contact with Earth. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, CNEOs, this massive celestial body will make its pass by, by our Earth August 10th. Although this asteroid is classified as a near-Earth object, it will make the closest approach at distance of about 4.6 million miles. The estimates right now indicate that this meteorite is 1,870 feet in diameter, making it 400 feet larger than the Empire State Building is tall. If an asteroid of this size was to strike Earth, it would result in widespread devastation. This is according to Newsweek. If the asteroid were to land in the ocean, it of course would cause large tsunamis that would impact low-lying land of the surrounding areas. A land impact could completely destroy an entire city, resulting in massive death toll numbers if it were that to happen. Thank goodness it's not projected to hit our Earth. It's missing us. Either scenario, though, if it did take place, would change the climate of the planet for years to come, the scientists say. NASA estimates it has already found over 90% of near-Earth objects measuring one kilometer or larger, all of which would likely have devastating effects on the planet if they were to strike. Smaller celestial bodies are more difficult to detect, though, and often pose significant less threats. Now, there are some that we've seen lately that we did not see coming. For one, of, for one is the Chelyabinsk meteor a few years ago that flew over Siberia. The other one was a few months ago that landed south of the Aleutian Islands in the Pacific Ocean. We didn't see any of those coming. And thank goodness they did not, uh, the one especially in the uh, Aleutian Islands didn't hit land. According to CNEO's manager Paul Chodas, there are very few asteroids identified by NASA that have a chance of hitting Earth, one of which is Bennu, which is actually some kind of a mini planet, and is the subject of frequent monitoring by NASA. He said asteroid Bennu, which is currently being visited by a Sirius Rex spacecraft, currently has one in a few thousand chances of impacting a couple of centuries from now. But as we continue to track this asteroid, I expect that chance to drop to zero. Earth has always been the firing line for big and small asteroids. So has the Moon, so has Mars. We've had recently discovered a massive crater, an asteroid crater, in the uh, north area of Scotland. If you see a couple of videos before this one. They've even had uh, recently discovered Asteroid strikes in the Sahara and in Iraq, they went to visit them because they found them over Google Earth, and they found that these had created havoc, famine,
climate changes in the areas of what was the lush and uh, affluent and uh, prosperous Egypt, and it was the cause of the demise of the, the pharaoh system of Egypt. That one struck about 5,000 years ago and caused a tremendous amount of upheaval and earthquakes, volcanic eruptions from the impact. Now, asteroids have been hitting our Earth. We have craters everywhere showing this. After narrowly missing a supermassive asteroid named 2019 NJ2, this was back in July 19, and overcoming the anxiety of being hit by the still invasive asteroid 2006 QV89, NASA has detected the other one, the next one, hazardous asteroid 2006 QQ23, as we said. And, uh, and this was first observed August 21st, 2006. It has a di diameter of uh, 254 and 568 meters. It's 400 feet tall of the Empire State Building, as we said, the orbital period of 263 days, categorizes hazardous, and is classified as an Aten, which means it is a near-Earth asteroid crossing Earth's path at two points while it's orbiting the Sun. Wow, okay, that's what it means, an Aten asteroid. According to NASA's Center for Near-Earth Object Studies, 2006 QQ23 expected to pass Earth August 10 at a distance of about 0.04922 AU, astronomical unit, which is rather short in astronomical terms, compared to a 10 kilogram long asteroid that uh, killed the non-flying dinosaurs and other species on Earth about 66 million years ago, QQ23 is small, but considering it's larger in size than, any, than many tall skyscrapers in the world, it is no less hazardous. And because of the size of this asteroid, a direct hit could wipe out large cities or even an entire country during the initial impact, depending on which country it is. The good news is that asteroids have approached Earth much nearer and missed than in the past. On August 10, it will fly past our Earth, traveling at a speed of 4.67 kilometers per second. When an asteroid is found to have even a tiny chance of impacting our Earth, they monitor it and measurements are taken, observations made. These astrometric data refine the understanding of the asteroid's path to improve our understanding of risks that it poses. Now, we remember that what happened in the past April, when they had an asteroid strike drill, a tabletop drill, uh, that uh, was supposedly uh, an asteroid to be striking the area of Delaware, uh, they supposedly tried to do something to move the asteroid, and in the drill, a piece was cut off by nuking it, and uh, that piece came and struck New York City. So the drill was actually a failure. Uh, this was um, a drill that included various space agencies from the world. It was directed by NASA, and it had officials and scientists and astronomers. And it was a tabletop exercise, and this happens every two years. The next one will be, I think, in Switzerland and Europe. And uh, we'll see if that one will be a success, because up to now, all their drills have been failures. And we have to keep in mind, this is not even the real thing. NASA does have asteroid programs. It has the Didymus that we'll be going into soon. It is a twin asteroid system, a big one and a small one, and they intend to send a spacecraft to take the small one and push it out of its orbit in a significant way so that they can see if they will be successful in nudging any type of an asteroid that could impact Earth. That's assuming that they will see it in time. So they will be going into a hands-on type of an experiment to see what they can do to protect our planet. Because we've had, it's just a matter of time for what scientists say, 
until we have such a strike coming at us again, which will be, of course, a complete catastrophe. I leave links below for you for this. Thank you. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.